Welcome to a new video by DJ's PRC. We have in front of us Project Cherokee. It's almost a roller now. But before we continue, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com Check out their website, it's awesome. The last step we have uh, to bring this vehicle to a full roller is to install our rims to our tires here. We do have, I went in advance and did these guys here. Super easy. You grab your rim, stretch it at the same time to be able to insert the bead inside the rim. Sometimes you'll need to maybe to squish it a bit. And what I do, I always play with it a bit to make sure that the bead gets seated correctly. What you want to see is a nice around all the same. It's, a, it's nice in the front too. If it's not seated, you'll need to play with it a bit. I know it's hard to show on camera. I'll see here. I'm not sure if she's going to zoom in or focus, should I say. You want, there we go. You want a nice, nice bead all around it. Okay. Let's see if she's going to keep it. Yes. All nice around. If yours is not seated, like, let's see if she's going to play nice again. Camera's bringing a little bit uh, temperamental. She doesn't want to. Come on. You see here the way the tire is seated, and here the way it's seated. It's not seated the same. That just tells me you just need to pull this guy out a bit to have it seated all around. And I'll see it better for myself here. There we go. And same thing on the other side. Once you have all your four tires the same, grab your favorite glue to be able to glue them. This is just BSI, uh, Bob Smith Industry. It is rebranded a lot from other brands. This is the thin, this is the medium gap filling. Personally, I prefer the gap filling over the, the thin. Simple reason is, is when, when I apply it, it doesn't drip everywhere. It stays a little bit where I want it. Uh, I do have a video how to glue tires if you want to go watch that out and I do have another video coming too, uh, another technique to do them with the glue. But for the moment I'm not going to glue them today because what I do when I do glue them, I do one side, I leave them alone for half an hour, then I do the other side, then I leave them alone for 24 hours or 12 hours to 24 hours should I say. To make sure the glue itself is fully uh, cured. You don't need to. These guys dries up in uh, about 10 to 15 seconds. But that's just the way I do it. But put these aside. Let's put them on the vehicle itself. <clears throat> I put them on and make sure it's seated. Grab our wheel nut. Our 7 mil. This is the MIP driver. Now, if the first time you do them, your uh, lock nut will be a little bit harder to put in. Front is a little bit sometimes, it does move a lot. But yeah, I digress. Tighten this guy up. There we go. <clears throat> now, vehicle kind of holds itself. That's what's fun when you have a one set of rims that's all reinstalled. Let's do the front one at the same time. Should have two screwdrivers, would be easier. But, yeah, I only have one. Now, 
I put a little bit more too much force, I pop bottom tire. But yeah, they're not glued. Let's put it on the side here. <clears throat> There we go. And we have Project Cherokee, a physical roller. This build is brought to you by Great Hobbies. Don't forget to check out their website, www.greathobbies.com. Their site is awesome. And I would like to say thank you to them for letting me do this. Look for future up updated videos of this rig and the body coming soon too. If you have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you hit the like button in the corner here, I would appreciate that. And if you hit the bell notification, it'll let you know next time I upload a video. If you want to be notified next time for upgrade for this guy here. Thank you for watching the Cherokee Project or Project Cherokee.